According to the All Party Parliamentary Group, the legal smoking age should be increased to 21, as well as buying tobacco. Speaking to the members of the public to hear their views and whether they think this will make any difference. Um, but personally, I think it will make a slight difference. I think on an overall level, it will make a difference. Reason being, I think people need more educated on it. <laughs> However, there is that slight negative aspect towards it in terms of like how young young people rebel. Mm -hmm. So I think will be I think that will be the factor that we need, will need to look at and how how can we resolve that the, re the rebellious side of it. But like from like just the overall opinion, I think a lot more young kids will be educated on it. And like when you get to the age of 21, like it, it, it's hard to get into habits at an older age. Whereas in a younger age, it, it's a lot more easier to like get addicted to like say for example cigarettes. So I think to some um, extent it would um, reduce the debt of um, young people because they wouldn't have the access to to um, buy cigarette but also um, there are other local shops where you could get cigarettes without you know having to display your ID so people could still get cigarette even when they're below the age of 18 or below 21 so I think it would to some extent it would make a difference but According to MP Bob Blackman, chairman of the All Party Parliamentary Group, said smoking remains the leading cause of premature death and health inequalities. Ratcheting up tobacco regulation further and faster is essential to achieve the government's vision for prevention. To increase healthy life expectancy by five years by 2035 while reducing inequalities between the richest and the poorest in society. But will this make any difference by changing the age group to 21? No, I don't think it would make any difference at all. People will get hold of cigarettes regardless of what age they are. Right. Yeah. Like, what do they need to do to make sure these other local shops, that they make sure the person is actually 21? Right, what, what can the government do? Because technically there's, there's nothing like you... Um, you don't know, a kid could just walk up to me now and be like, blah, 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 here's £10. Can you please buy me some cigarettes? I can go up to the shop. They ain't gonna know if it's for me or if it's for the child. So in terms of that, it's literally impossible, I think, to like to literally like stop that. It's just us as people, us as society, how we present ourselves and how we tell the youngers to not do that. Like we we as individuals need to spread that word, not just the government. We've got all kinds of social media like, around here to like educate younger children, but at the same time them and there's only going to be one per well it's only going to be certain individuals who can stop them from doing it which is the elders so like their parents or even elders like just like us in general although the age is going to be changed to 21 the public do not seem that convinced that it will make any difference there seems to be some unanswered question that needs to be addressed cordelia jambaya black country news